What's up guys? Welcome back to the EDC series, the everyday carry series. So this is a fountain pen that I purchased a while back. It is a Jinhao, J-I-N-H-A-O, X450 fountain pen with a median medium nib. Hang on, let me get some more light. So it's a medium nib. All right, so part of the EDC series, um, one of the items that you should carry is a pen. And uh, when I was younger, I was a very avid fountain pen user. So I decided to get one just to try it out again because I don't have any of my old pens. All right, so let's go over the specs. So I have a cheat sheet here. We can go over together. So apologies for my handwriting. Um, my penmanship has gone down uh, because I just type all day. So the specs are the color that I got is ice red. So it's got this kind of cloudy red, black kind of um, looks like a vial of blood is the best way to um, describe it. And it has these gold um, edges here and here. It's black on top and bottom. And it has the brand name there and it has the model number here. The material is metal. Um, it's mostly metal. I don't know, it's heavy enough, but judging from this, uh, clip here looks like just a plate so it feels like die cast metal with a um a polish or a coating um but on the site it says that the nib is stainless steel it's hard enough and yeah i it could pass the stainless steel i have nothing to check for sure though um the next is the weight it's 1.5 ounces um 45 grams it's uh 13.8 centimeters in length and it's 1.4 by 1.4 in the height and width and also it has the ink pump cartridge so what you can do is you can use this to pull the ink straight out of an ink pot and you see the ink there and it works very well actually um, there is no, um, it comes with no ink and no gift box. So you have to get that yourself. Okay. So that's the specs. Let's go over the good. So the good thing about this is, is the price. It is, I bought it for 10 euros, 24 cents. Um, it was, I think it's under 10 pounds. Uh, if you use sterling, um, cause I bought it in Amazon. Uh, next is the ink pump cartridge it it can use bottled ink because um this you don't have to use the refills you can actually use bottled ink which is what i'm using right now um which is definitely a plus for this price range especially next is the stainless steel nib if it is a stainless steel nib i can't verify for sure but it definitely is you know Apologies for my penmanship, I haven't written in a long time. Seriously. Um, so yeah, it, it's a very hard nib. Um, it does the job. In terms of the thickness, they say it's a medium, but I think it's a bit heavier than medium, maybe a medium heavy, because I prefer, you know, fine to medium tips. Uh, this is a bit thick uh, for my liking. And next is the color is very sharp. I mean, you have you have the grip with the black here, and then you have the gold and um, etches here and here. And then this, I think all of the colors, like you can get blue, green, um, some off golds, you can get all black. Um, and it still has like this kind of cloudy ice uh, uh, color to it. And it is very nice. Um, the next good thing is that it works. 
it's good enough. It's not fantastic, but it works, you know, it does the job. Um, next is it's great for beginners for this price range. Um, you know, 10 pounds, uh, just over 10 euros. You're looking at a decent, uh, beginners fountain pen. Um, if you look at the more expensive brands, they start off in the hundreds and it's not as, um, easy to begin, uh, writing using a fountain pen. And the next good point is the satisfying click. You get a nice click. If it's snug, well, it's snug enough there. I'll go over the cons and uh, now. And it writes well enough, like, you know. I forgot how to do um, cursive. Something like that. Um, yeah, I'll go over, it's, it's okay. Just doing some writing examples for you. The ink runs a little too well, but I'm using a uh, high grade bottled ink. Certain, some directions, it's not as consistent. And certain angles as well. I You have to write very flat, very flat in order to get it working. If you raise it a bit, it's harder to write with. It's not too bad, certain angles. All right, let's go over the cons. Okay, so the bad is that there's no gift box and it comes plastic wrapped. It's just like um, plastic sleeve, like an Ikea plastic sleeve bag, not even of that quality, very thin. And it's uh, in an Amazon box and definitely uh has room you know to swing around in the box so easily damaged i'd say it's average build quality so um for mine um what i noticed is that the cap clicks but there's a little bit of play like there's a little bit of movement you know and it's definitely clicked in there and this is tight enough see it's tightened it wriggles up down left right a little bit um let me just try loosen that and see if it makes any difference no so at the tightest wriggles around a bit the next um bad thing about this pen is it's a dust magnet i mean um, I've been using it, so the dust has mostly come off, but I don't know. Can you see the dust? There's definitely dust on there. Not sure if it's picking it up. Yeah, you can kind of see the dust around here. Okay, so it is dust magnet, but that's, um, you know, you can just clean that. And it is quite heavy, like for prolonged use, you know, um, this is quite heavy. And if you like to use it with the cap, it's a lot heavier as well. You feel the weight and it like, um, it drags down this end. So you feel that play like kind of drop like that. Not as exaggerated, but you'll feel it like, um, in terms of like index thumb control, like it's, you definitely feel the leverage on the top there. And the next is it can be blotchy. Um, I, like the ink that I'm using is a very fine ink, but for some reason on the ends of these lines, it's always blotchy. So, if you want to write something nice, I wouldn't use this pen. This is kind of just an everyday practice pen, backup, maybe just throw away pen or, you know, just keep it uh, on you. And if you lose it, you know, no big deal. So it's blotchy and inconsistent, not great for perfect writing. Um, the next is quality control. So there are some horror stories where 
the inner sleeve. So everything inside here has a plastic base. So if you think of it like, like the, I guess a snail, you think of like a snail is the plastic and then the shell is the metal part. And this sleeve popped off for somebody and they couldn't get it back in. So they were left with, you know, an exposed nib, which is not good. Um, and also for some other um, customers that bought it, the nib was off like it was bent, like it was leaning towards one side and it was very uneven, you know, so it wasn't very good. Um, as I mentioned before, it ships in a plastic wrap, so it can be very easily damaged, but that's to do, it's nothing to do with the, the fountain pen at all, it's to do with the uh, supplier. Um, the next thing is that it can be slippery. Um, whatever they use to polish this, um, it's very slippery. So it's very easy to drop. Not, not the, not the best for EDC. Um, to carry around. Um, it's it's heavy as well, so it's easy to drop. Like, very easy to drop. Um, okay, so let's. Um, my overall thoughts is that it is a great pen for beginners. Like if I wanted this as my main pen, I wouldn't have bought it, but I just wanted to get back into fountain pen and um, just wanted something nice and cheap and affordable. Um, so question is buy it, shortlist it, consider or avoid. So coming from a beginner, um, mindset i definitely shortlist it definitely shortlist it um it's something to consider it's you know a great throwaway pen like uh sometimes i carry this just to you know be uh fancy and you know just uh you whip it out and it's oh you know it's kind of flashy it's got the gold it's got the uh ice red finish it is a nice pen aesthetically as well All right, there we have it. That is, this is the Jinhao uh, X450 fountain pen. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.